subscribers. I appreciate you very much. And for anyone who is new to my channel, my name is Denise and I make videos on clean eating and specifically a vegan whole plant food diet that is free of oil, sugar, and that is low in salt. And this way of eating includes foods that are low on the calorie density scale. And calorie density is the amount of calories per pound of any given food. So eating a low calorie dense diet is how I was able to lose 48 pounds in just over a year. So on that note, let's get started with the recipe. We are making cherry chocolate ice cream bonbons. And the cherry chocolate ice cream is so delicious by itself. So if you wanna stop there after making the ice cream part, you can or if you wanna continue on and make the hard shell chocolate outer layer, go for it. So let's get started. The chocolate cherry ice cream recipe comes from the Eat to Live cookbook by Dr. Joel Furman, and I really love this recipe book, so I'll put a link to it in the description. The ingredients you'll need are 100% unsweetened chocolate chips, cocoa powder, almond milk, dates, dark sweet cherries that are frozen, vanilla extract, an unused paintbrush, a silicone mold for your bonbon, and paper cups for your chocolate. The chocolate that I'm using is from Santa Barbara Chocolate, which you can get online, and it just has one ingredient, so there's no added sugar or cocoa butter in it. I'll put a link in the description for this, and also know that you can find 100% chocolate at Trader Joe's as well. So first off, we're gonna make our cherry chocolate ice cream, and for this, you're gonna just add all your ingredients minus your chocolate chips into a blender, so that includes one half cup of almond milk, two tablespoons of cocoa powder, four large pitted medjool dates, one and a half cups of frozen dark sweet cherries, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. You're gonna blend it all up until creamy, and then you're going to scoop your ice cream into a freezer safe bowl, and you're gonna keep it in the freezer until you're ready to use it. Now it's time to melt our chocolate. I've got my 100% unsweetened chocolate chips here, and we're pouring our chocolate into a microwave safe bowl, and I do recommend tempering your chocolate and you can do that either by double boiler method over stovetop or microwave. I chose to do it over microwave. If you are interested in tempering your chocolate, the instructions are in the description below. And the reasons to temper your chocolate are so that your chocolate is glossy, smooth, and has a nice crack to it. So here we're getting our chocolate bonbon mold, and I'll put a link in the description for the one I have. And you're pouring about one teaspoon of melted chocolate into each cavity. Then you're gonna get your unused paintbrush and you're gonna swipe up from the bottom of the cavity to the top edge, covering the entire section with chocolate. Now you're gonna put your molds into the freezer and freeze for 15 minutes. It's 15 minutes later and it's time to fill your molds with chocolate cherry ice cream. You're gonna fill each cavity with ice cream just under the top edge of the mold because you wanna leave space for one final layer of chocolate on top. Now it's time to add a little bit of chocolate on top of your ice cream and close up the bonbon. You're gonna spoon a tiny bit and flatten it out and ensure the entire ice cream is covered. The process is complete now and you wanna freeze your bonbon molds in the freezer for four hours or overnight. So it's four hours later and it's time to pop your ice cream bonbons out of the mold. You're gonna do that by putting pressure on the bottom of the bonbon and pushing up. Your chocolate cherry ice cream bonbons are ready to enjoy. Thank you so much for watching and happy plant eating.